just in time for your commute. That's what you get. Sorry, folks. Remember, um, it takes, you know, less than we have many, many accidents that happen in, with just a, less than an inch of snow. So it doesn't take much to make the road slippery. So let's get through this evening commute. And for viewers down to the south of us, down in the uh, uh, Washington and Idaho Palouse, the Camas Prairie. Uh, you're going to get more significant snowfall than what we're going to see here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. So please be careful driving tonight. 22 degrees in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 20 in Deer Park. It's 19 degrees for a current temperature in Sandpoint. So this snow is not melting. 23 in Pullman and 20 right now in Moscow, Idaho. There's a look at the snow and I thought this was going to move in later tonight for the Spokane area. The computer modeling uh, had us right around 8 o'clock tonight, but as you noticed, uh, it started falling uh, in the afternoon hours, even in Spokane. We always expected earlier snowfall down to the south of us, and that's kind of what we've seen. This is a closer view of the snow from Spokane down through Spangle and uh, Colfax. I think that this area down here is going to, when we stop receiving snowfall, you're going to still see it falling down to the south of us. So if we're going to pick snowfall totals, I'm pretty much thinking maybe about an inch of snow in Spokane, two to three inches of snow uh, down to the south of us, and also off to the east of us in the mountains. Uh, even more significant snowfall at the higher elevations. There you can see that big ridge of high pressure, but it has sunk a little bit farther to the south. So now we're getting more spillover moisture uh, moving in across the top of that ridge. And you can even see where it's raining over in western Washington, but it's snow east of the Cascades. We'll run the future tractor computer model for you tonight. Again, see how the model has most of the snow to the south of us. And it just dissipates in the overnight hours by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Should be a mostly dry day. And then we'll even begin to see some clearing happening down in the lower Columbia Basin towards uh, the end of the daylight hours. Overnight lows again will be cold. 14 the low in Grand Coulee, 15 in Omac, 14 the low expected in Deer Park here in Spokane. We're going to drop it down to 19. Again, we're not melting this snow. We do get above freezing a little bit tomorrow afternoon. St. John will get up to about 35, 34 the high in Pullman. Cold, uh, Colville, an overnight low of 13, then a daytime high of 30 degrees. Libby, Montana, down to 9 tonight, so it's definitely colder weather. It begins to warm up a bit on Friday. We've got a chance of some afternoon uh, snow or rain or snow showers on Friday. And then I've got dry weather returning just in time for the weekend. Should hit 40 degrees on Sunday and will remain in the low 40s through Wednesday of next week.